if you want to memorize the periodic table effortlessly. In this video, I have the best tricks from my personal experience to make it super easy. I will use simple and easy mnemonic to remember the names of each element in the periodic table. So let's start with group one elements. To remember them, my personal trick is, hi, little naughty kids, rub cats fur. In this case, high represents hydrogen, little refers to lithium, naughty represents sodium because its symbol is Na. Kid stands for potassium and its symbol is K. Rub represents rubidium. Here cat stands for cesium and finally fur is used to represent francium. Now moving towards second group elements, which are called alkaline earth metals. To remember the names of group second elements, its mnemonic trick is, be my cute sister, bakes rice. Here in this case, B refers to beryllium. My is used to represent magnesium. Here, cute is used for calcium. Sister is referring strontium. Bakes stands for barium, and rice is used to represent radium. Now it's time to move towards group 13 elements. Keep in mind that we will also cover transition or d-block elements after completing the subgroup A, or normal elements. To memorize the names of group 13 elements on your fingertips, you need to remember this mnemonic. Balloons always go in the air. In this case here, balloons represent boron. Always is used to mention aluminium. Go stands for gallium and represents indium. And finally here, the air is used for thallium. Now, it's time to discuss tricks to remember the names of group 14 elements. Keep in mind that group 14 is called carbon group, and its mnemonic to memorize the names of all the elements is can silly goats sniff peanuts. Here in this case, can stands for carbon, silly is used for silicone, goats is used to mention germanium, presence of tin is shown by sniff, one thing you need to remember that symbol of tin is SN, and lead is denoted by peanuts because symbol of lead is PB. Now, let's understand how we can easily remember the names of group 15 elements, which is called nitrogen group. My personal trick to remember elements of group 15 is, nice people, ask silly bikers. Here, the presence of nitrogen is shown by nice, People represents phosphorus. Presence of arsenic is denoted by ask. Here, silly is used for antimony, whose symbol is SB. And finally, bikers is used to represent presence of bismuth. Now, it's turn to move towards group 16 elements, which is also called oxygen family. Simple trick to memorize group 16 elements is O, oh, some seals, tell poems. In this case, here O is used to represent oxygen, sum is used to represent sulfur, presence of selenium is shown by seals, tell is used to mention tellurium, and finally, presence of polonium is shown by poems. Now, let's discuss group 17 elements, which are also called the halogen family. Mnemonic to memorize the names of group 17 elements is funny clowns, bring ice at town. In this case, funny is used to show the presence of fluorine. Chlorine is shown by clowns. Bring is used to represent bromine. Presence of iodine is shown by ice. At is used to represent astatine. And the presence of tennessine is represented by town. Finally, moving towards the last group of subgroup A or normal elements, which is called group 18. As you know that group 18 is called noble gases family. And my personal trick to memorize names of group 18 elements is, he never argues, Chris x-rays runners often. In this case, he is used to represent helium, never refers to the neon. Argon is denoted by argues. Chris is used for krypton. X-ray is used to represent xenon. Presence of radon is referred by runners and often is used to mention oganesson. Until now, we have learned tricks to memorize names of subgroup A elements, which are also called normal or non-transition elements. Now, it's time to actually learn how we can easily memorize names of transition elements, which are also called d-block elements. First, let's start with group 3. Its mnemonic is science you laugh at. Here, word science is used to refer scandium, U is used for yttrium, presence of lanthanum is denoted by laugh, and finally, the presence of actinium is denoted by at. Now, let's move towards group 4 elements. One of the easiest trick to remember these elements is, tiny zebras have ribbons. In this case, here tiny represent titanium, zebras is used to represent zirconium, hafnium is denoted by have, and ribbons is used to refer rutherfordium. Now, moving towards group 5 elements, its mnemonic to memorize is, very nice tall dogs. Here, vanadium is represented by very, Niobium is denoted by nice. Tantalum is referred by tall. And finally, dubnium is represented by dogs. Now moving towards group six elements, one of simple trick to remember the names of elements of group six is crazy monkeys walk slowly. Here crazy is used to refer chromium. Molybdenum is represented by monkeys. Walk is used to represent tungsten because its symbol is W. And at the end, seaborgium is denoted by slowly and its symbol is SG. Now it's time to move towards group seven elements. You need to remember this mnemonic to memorize them. Mango's taste. 
Really bitter, here mangoes is used to refer manganese, taste is used to refer technetium, rhenium is denoted by really, and borium is denoted by bitter. Moving towards group 8 elements, very easy trick which I used to remember their names is, Ferrari runs over houses. Here iron is represented by Ferrari because its symbol is Fe. Ruthenium is denoted by run, osmium is referred by over, and hassium is denoted by houses. Now let's move towards group 9 elements and their mnemonic. To remember names is cold rhino in mountains. Here cold is used for cobalt, rhino is used for rhodium, in US used for iridium, and mountain is used to refer mitnarium. Moving towards group 10 elements, their trick to remember is Nick paid platinum dollars. Here Nick is used for nickel, paid is used for palladium, platinum is used same as, and darmstadium is denoted by dollars. Moving towards penultimate group, which is group 11, my trick to remember their names is cute aggressive animals run, where cute is used for copper, aggressive is used for silver because its symbol is AG, animals is used to refer gold whose symbol is AU, and roengenium is referred by run and its symbol is RG. Moving towards last group in the periodic table, which is actually group 12, its mnemonic to remember names of the elements is zebra catches huge cans. Here, zebra is used for zinc, catches is used for cadmium, mercury is denoted by huge because its symbol is HG, and finally can is used to represent copernicium. I hope this video will help you a lot to remember the names of all the elements in the periodic table, and after watching this video now, you are able to memorize periodic table in very simple and easy way. See you in next video. Please like, share, and subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos.